Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of the Love Shreveport podcast. We're excited uh, because we've got some great information today that we want to share uh, with the citizens of Shreveport that's going to be beneficial to so many. Today, we have Miss Karina Thomas, Superintendent of Customer Service for the Water and Sewer Department. Miss Thomas, how are you doing today? I'm good. I'm good. We're thank you so for having me. thank you. We're grateful to have you today uh, because you have some information that is going to be uh, great information, some 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 needed information for some of our citizens of Shreveport. So uh, we're here to talk about this SWAP program uh, that's going on with the Water and Sewer Department. Tell us a little bit about this SWAP program. What is SWAP? SWAP is Shreveport Water Assistance Program and it was a program designed um, to help our citizens um, with past due balances. And it was started, the City Council enacted this program back in probably 2012. Um, so it's been around for a little while. Mm -hmm. um, and recently, since COVID and you know the pandemic um, issues and woes that we've been having, we've, we've revamped the program to include um, to include more of our citizens. So this program gives citizens assistance on their water bills. Correct. Uh, how often can the citizens apply for this? They can apply once a year, um, and it's really designed to help them get back on their feet. Um, so since they have, if they have past due, large past due balances, they can apply for this, and we would pledge to um, to help them with half of that balance. So we would, you know, pledge half of the balance and then the other half we would put them up on a payment agreement. Um, so they'll, they're will they able to pay that past due balance plus their current charges over time. And once they've, you know, completed that portion, then we would apply our half and they should be back on track. So is this an ongoing program? Will it end or is it no. continuous? No, it's not an ongoing. I mean, it is an ongoing program. It won't end. Um, it's scheduled um, just to go on as long as, you know, our citizens are in need. So it's funded every year from uh, through the Water and Sewer Department um, annually. So so we get we give funds to this program, um, dedicated funds to this program every single year. Wow, this is amazing. Yes. So yes. are there any stipulations of who can apply for this assistance? So the the requirements for um, assistance is a residential account. So customers would have to be, um, would have to have an active residential account. Um, commercial businesses uh, would, not, would not apply. Um, and they can go and apply for the, um, for this assistance. Uh, they would have to have 100, be at or below 150% of the federal poverty guideline. I got you. Um, and they can apply, like I said, once per year. So mm -hmm. once uh, a resident applies for this program, how long does it take for them to receive this assistance? Typically, it's um, one to two weeks. So it doesn't take a, a, it's not a really long process. And, you know, since we revamped it, we've really kind of streamlined that process. It was, you know, three to four weeks, um, which was entirely too long. Um, so we've revamped that a little bit and, and allowed uh, for customers to be able to get assistance much quicker. So is this something that the citizens would have to pay back or how does no. that work? No, they would not have to pay that back. Um, they apply for this program, apply for the assistance, and that assistance is just, you know, it, it changes their, um, their balance. So they don't have to pay that back. They're not obligated to pay that back at all, no. Wow, amazing. So yes. how, is there a number, is there a website? How would they go to apply for this? They can go to our website, uh, shreveportlawater.gov and get additional information. Um, they can go to one of our community partners, which is Socialization Services, um, or one of the Cattle Community Action Agency locations um, throughout the city and apply um, the the um, representatives at those uh, community uh, organizations would be able to help them apply and get those applications submitted. This is absolutely amazing mm -hmm. um, that you guys are doing this for our citizens. So there, uh, to my understanding, there's a lot of other programs that you guys do. Are there anything that, that you can share, any other programs for our citizens that you can share within that water and sewer department? 
Well, there is a federally funded program um, that the state has recently um, received funds for, and that is called LAWAP, and they can go to the Cattle Community Action Agency, um, and they are the ones that actually um, administer that program, but they are giving away lots of money for um, water, uh, water customers who have fallen behind or fallen on hard times and have large past due balances. So is there the number, if they're, if they're behind so many months or so or got a, a large balance, is that something that would turn them away or? No, it wouldn't. Um, that, that would actually be a plus for them. Um, so they can go to the Cattle Community Action Agency or Socialization Services and um, just talk to the agents there about their uh, past due balance and, and get an application and get apply and, and apply for that. Wow. Thank you so much, yes. Ms. Thomas. You're a wealth of knowledge. Um, so again, you've heard Ms. Thomas uh, share about the SWAP program and the WAP program. Go to the website. Would you share that website one more time for everybody that's watching? ShreveportLAWater.gov. Go there. Apply if you need the assistance. Go ahead and apply today. Then, of course, we just appreciate all of you uh, for tuning in and joining us of this edition of the Love Shreveport podcast. Of course, don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is City of Shreveport, L.A. Then, of course, if you didn't know, uh, we are on social media as well. Go follow us there. You get a lot of information on uh, our social media pages. Just stay social with us on Facebook, City of Shreveport Government. It's verified with a blue check. Then, of course, on Instagram, at Love Shreveport. It's also verified with a blue check. And then on Twitter, uh, at Love Shreveport One. So again, thank you so much uh, for tuning in uh, to this edition of the Love Shreveport podcast. We hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Hey!